This video provides step-by-step -step instruction on how to review your employee's time off request and how to edit an employee's time card. The first task I will show you is how to approve or deny an employee's time off request. Once an employee submits a time off request, you will receive an email notifying you of the request. Once you are logged into the ADP system, you will go ahead and click on My Team, Time Off, and List of Requests. On this page, you will see all pending requests submitted by your team. Before processing any request, you have the option to click on Check Schedule. This will allow you to see if anyone else on your team already has time off approved or scheduled on the same day. Once you check on the scheduling, you have two options in order to process your requests. One is to click on the drop down menu and choose your option for the request, or the second is to click on the request period. Here I can choose to review each day individually. In this example, this employee requested a vacation day and a sick day. I'm going to deny the vacation day and approve the sick day. You also have the option of writing in notes in the commentary text box, which will provide the employee with a reason. Once you have chosen all of your request options, we'll go ahead and click process. And then close. The next task I'll show you is how to edit an employee's time card. You can access this by going to My Team, Time in Attendance, and Individual Time Card. Once on this screen, you will be able to edit the employee's time card. You can also search for another employee using the search box above. Wherever there is a red question mark, this means that the employee missed a punch in the system. We can adjust this by simply putting in the time off of the missed punch, then hitting the save button. Make sure to put in AM or PM. So for this time, they left at 5 PM. Then I will go ahead and hit save. If an employee calls in sick or did not submit a time off request in time, you can also enter pay time off directly on the time card. You would just simply go to the day and enter the pay time off on that day. So I will go ahead and put in the eight hours, then enter the correct pay code. If it was sick, personal, etc. For this example, this employee was out sick. Then I will choose 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Once this is done, I will make sure to hit save. This is how to edit an employee's time card and approve or deny an employee's time off request. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the HR department. Thank you.